Okay, Devin, let me show you how I would fix this here. Um, so let's go to your actual pages. And I'm pretty sure you got uh, pretty much the same image in the background. Let's just go to this one here. Let me close that. And so in this case here, we're not seeing the image at all. In this case here, we are seeing the image and you're right, it's because you put this text into here. So let's just take a look at how you can fix this. Uh, but before we do that, let's just come over here and I, what I did on the page here, I did a right click, I did inspect, it opened this up in showing me the section that I'm in. Anytime you see a class here of container, that is your outer section. And then inside of that, you will have your container inner and you will have your rows and your columns and all the elements inside of this element right here. But right here, I can tell that what you did is you set the background image of this section to what this image is. And if you hover over the image like this, you're gonna see that is 1920 wide by 512 pixels tall. And in this case here, in fact, did I, oh, I was messing with it here. So let me take that out for right now. Um, so the, um, I forget what they call it, the actual size of the image when you created it is 512 pixels tall, but the space you're taking up and the space is being created by this text element, the actual space you're taking up is 294 pixels. So that always becomes a problem is when you put in a background image, you have to size the background then in order to fit this properly. Now there are ways around it. You found one of them. So let me just open up a quick page here. And all I did so far is I put in a section. And so now let's go into our section and oops, now we need to go into the section itself. And we're going to put in a background image. And so we'll just drag this image in there. And is it working? Yep. Okay, let's give it a second. All right, so we got our image. Let's add that image. And now that is in here, believe it or not, as our background image. We have a set as no repeat, but let's just do 100% of the width. And it's still not going to change anything because we have nothing in this element. It's inside of that section, we have nothing. So let's, over the top of this, let's put in, like, say, a three-column row. And then let's just put some text elements in here. Let's just put in a paragraph element. And you see as we do this, and I will clone it a couple of times, you see as we do this now, it takes up enough height that we can then see the background image. Before that, you were just seeing like just a sliver of it, probably just like the top part here, maybe the bottom part, I'm not sure which. Um, and so now as we put text in, it will take up this height and fill up that whole space. Now, what I have seen others do is come in here and they will put in the divider element. And so we can put in our divider element and then we can come over and we can do, it doesn't matter what direction we're floating it, where it's going, because we're gonna make this thing invisible in a minute. Um, after we increase the padding, top and bottom to 50, have no shadow, come over here and we can make our top margin what we want. And then let's make this color transparent. And so now it's sitting about over here. So let's just turn it back on so we can actually see where it is. It's just a single line at this point for our divider. Now let's come over here and let's take out, come on, let's work. Let's take out the text and we'll get rid of the text. And now we're left with this, so that's not quite tall enough. So let's do a couple things. First off, let's come into our padding on our section, and let's change this some. Let's just make this 50 at the bottom so we can do this. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you an easier way to do all this at the end. Uh, but at the top here, we wanna really kind of pull that back up to the top, left and right, let's take that out, bottom. Let's make the bottom zero. So, okay, so now we got this. So now what we can do is we can come back into this element and we can mess with our top margin. So let's make this 300 pixels. So now here's our element down here. We got 50 padding on the top, 50 padding on the bottom, but we got 300 pixels at the top of this. So we have all that height there. 
and then we had a little bit of padding at the bottom. Okay, well, that might be too high. So let's go back into our element again because we want to pull that a little closer up to the top. We can go 25 pixels. That's maybe even still too much. Or am I losing part of the bottom? What am I doing here? Let me see here. Okay, I'm losing the bottom is what I'm losing. So we can do that. And then are we down too far? So now what we have to deal with is probably um let's do so like minus 50 so that pulled it up but it pulled the whole thing up okay so now that might work so now i mean you see how much messing around i had to do eh, nope it's not going to work because now if we save this that's going to let's just save it and preview it what that's going to do is it's going to leave that pushed down funny and see so that's down too far so we can come back into our element and let's open up that row. You may have to go up to the top here to open it because we pushed it up so far. And so now let's take this back out. Let's make this zero again. And so that's one of these things. You just have to kind of mess around with this and go, okay, what do we need to do? Maybe uh, maybe I, if I take this down to somebody, I guess we can't do that because that pushed this down here at the bottom. Do we come in? Do we put in a second one of these? Maybe that will do the trick we put in a second one but on the second one now let's take out that 250 and let's just make it 200 at the top all right well maybe we don't even do that let's take out everything and so it's a matter of playing around with it in order to get it to work now that to me is the hard way to do this whole thing that's not the way i would do it and it's why i always suggest that people learn a little bit of css a little bit of coding to make their life so much easier so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to come in here and i'm going to delete out this row so let's delete that and then let's go back to our let's go back to this version here because we know that this one is relatively okay so again what we have here is we have our image of 1920 wide the first number is always your width it's always your horizontal and then you got 512 tall height vertical x-axis um is your 512 so all we want to do is we want to come in here and just say let's make this image 512 pixels tall so now if we knock that out we're going to see here we're 512 pixels tall so let's do the same thing here where the image is not showing at all. So let's inspect this entire section and we'll come in and again, we're gonna have that exact same image in there. So we come down, we'll hover over it and you see a height of 512. But if you look over here, you got a height of zero because you have nothing in there. You have no text in there. And so the background image does not create any structure. And so it can't take up any space. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and we're going to say height of 512 pixels. Now, if you don't want it to be 512 pixels tall, what you're going to have to do is change the image. And now what we're looking at is that's way too big for stuff. So let's get rid of the padding and see if that fixes it. It's not fixing it. And why is it not fixing it? Let's just... Uh, Let's do this. Let's pause this for a second. All right. Well, what I decided to do was just go over here. Let's just go over into the element itself and let's see what we got here. So I took out, oops, that's not the one I wanted. Let's go into the editor. So I took everything out of here. So now what we need to do is we need to come in and we need to grab a hold of the CSS ID selector for that section. And we'll come into our section, we'll come down to the bottom, go to the hashtag, we will grab the CSS ID selector, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to go into our, uh, let me hide this, come into our custom CSS, and we'll just uh, push this down a little bit, and we're going to paste that in. So we have our hashtag, we have the, um, the ID now for our element. And so now we're going to say in here, height, colon, space, 512 pixels with a semicolon. And if you see in the background there, it put it all in nice and perfect. Now, is this going to be too much padding and whatnot? Possibly. I think I took all the padding out of here. No, I didn't. We got 50 on the bottom. Let's take that out. 
let us save this, and then we can preview it and see what it's going to look like. And so with one little simple line of CSS, we're, we were able to put this image in here. Now, is this image too tall? Probably. And part of the problem is, is when you built it, you had all this padding around the outside edges here. So what you may want to do, if you only want like 20 pixels of padding around here, you may want to go in and crop this image down so that it is smaller. And then we can put, uh, we can build everything around it. So let's once again, let's right click this and inspect it. And then let's see if changing the height on here will make a difference. And it really probably shouldn't. And if anything, it will probably change the entirety of the image. Well, maybe not. Because this image is so wide, we may be able to take out some of the height. And because it's not, what I'm looking at here on the screen is not 1,900 pixels wide. It's probably, well, it says right here 1,200 is that accurate? Let me see here. Let's move this out. Yeah. Okay. So we're 1277. We're not 1920. So we can come in to our height here and we can reduce this significantly. But then the question becomes is, are we only taking it in off of the bottom of the image? And the answer is clearly yes. So what is happening is this image is being stuck to the top and we're taking off only the bottom part of it. Now, can we change that? Can we change how that image sits inside of this section? The answer is yes, but I think that's getting a little further beyond where we need to be at this point. So I think the simplest thing for you is to come in here and crop this image so that it is, you can leave it at 1900 pixels wide if you want to be able to deal with a wide screen a large Mac screen or something like that. But you want to take it so you have maybe 20 pixels, maybe 50 pixels. Actually, I think the smaller, the better, because you can always add additional padding on the section or the row or whatever to give you more room at the top. So you're probably better off by coming in and taking off all but about 10 or 20 pixels at the top and the bottom, leave it the full width. And then if you need more height, we can build it in here using the padding. So I think that's your best bet. But the one, the simple trick is just to do the CSS thing. And again, how you do it is you come in, you go to manage that section, or you can come over here and you can click on the actual gear itself. Either way, it'll open up the section. Come over, grab a hold of your hashtag right there. And then you want to, and that's again, that is the ID for the section. And then we'll come into our custom CSS. We'll put that in here and in your case here, height of 512 pixels, because again, that's how tall the overall image is. That's the height of this entire image. So when you crop this down, that's no longer going to be 512. It might be 350. We don't know until you're done cropping it down. So crop it down, then just drop it in, and then go in and inspect the element. And when you inspect the element, all you got to do is just hover over it like this, and it'll tell you exactly what the dimensions are. So you'll see it's, oh, it's 350 pixels. So you change your height down here to 350 pixels, see how it looks. And then you can easily change this number. Um, you can actually just, once it's once you get rid of the blue highlight, you can just actually use your up and down keys to uh, change the height of it. And once you come up with exactly what you want, then you come back into your custom CSS, you drop in that number right there, and then you are good to go. And then, of course, from there, you can put any kind of row or anything else you want over the top of it. And then you can layer stuff over it. But what you said is you didn't want that anyway. You, My understanding is you just want it to look like this, uh, which that's just fine. So, um, again, any questions, just let me know.